Today, we are going to get depressed. Hey guys, welcome to Emacs. Let's do some maths for fun. This is the 10th episode on Emacs video channel. So today, I'm going to do something special. I'm going to challenge myself to prove the cubic formula in 30 minutes. Actually, there are a lot of methods to solve cubic equation. For example, we can use the synthetic division, apply factor theorem and remainder theorem, or we can use the Cardano's formula. And this method is called depressed cubic equation, which is what we are going to prove today. Hopefully, we don't get depressed. And anyway, are you ready? Start off. This is a standard form of a cubic equation, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals to zero, where a not equals to zero. The first thing we will do is we do a substitution. I write our first substitution. We let x equals to y minus b over 3a. The purpose of this substitution is that we want to get the depressed form of, of cubic equation. And later we just have to solve for this depressed form. Alright, when we substitute this into the equation, we will get a bracket y minus b over 3a cubed plus b y minus b over 3a squared plus c y minus b over 3a plus d equals to 0. Because of this step, as you can see, we can use the binomial formula. We know that if we have bracket a plus b cubed is actually equals to a cubed plus 2, 3, a square b plus 3ab square plus b cubed. If it is square, a plus b square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And maybe one more, if we have a divided by b to the n is equals to a to the n over b to the n. I think that's all we need for now. Then for this part here, we can use the first formula. For this part here, we can use the second formula. And then the rest we can just explain later. Okay, we do it part by part. For this part, a bracket y minus b over 3a cubed. If we use the first formula, we will get a right outside. y cubed plus 3y squared, negative b over 3a then plus 3y, negative b over 3a squared, plus negative b over 3a cubed. Cross our bracket. Okay, then we simplified it. We got get a, this one is y cubed, minus 3by squared over 3a, then this one become square, so become positive. We'll have plus 3b square y over 9a square. Then minus b cubed over 9, uh, not 9, 27a cubed over 27a cubed. Then we expand this a into the bracket. We'll get ay cubed. A and this A cancel, this 3 and 3 can cancel. We will end up with minus by squared. And this one, A and this A power minus 1. And then this 3 and this 9 can simplify, this one become 3. So it's B squared Y over a 3. Then last thing, this a and this power minus 1, minus b cubed over 27a squared. Okay, I think that's enough for this part. We'll do for the second part using the second formula. Something I write down here, b minus 1 over 3a squared. This one is slightly simpler. Then we we'll have b bracket y squared plus 2y negative b over 3a plus negative b over 3a squared, cross bracket. Simplified it, y squared minus 2by over 3a plus square, so we can positive, b squared over 9a squared. Expand b into the bracket, by squared, 
minus b times b is b squared. 2b squared over 3a. Then plus b times b squared is b cubed over a 9a squared. Then we substitute these two parts into the original equation. We will have this one ay cubed minus by squared plus b squared y over 3a minus b cubed over 27a squared plus by squared minus 2b squared y over 3a plus b cubed over 9a squared. Then plus this part. This part here, I think I should have where expand plus cy minus bc over 3a plus d equals to 0. Very complicated, huh? don't worry. We can simplify this one very easily. Okay, we write down ay cubed and negative by square and positive by square can cancel. And then you can see this one and this one can simplify because both have b square y. Plus 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus b square y over 3a. And then this one and this one can simplify. We just have to get the common denominator, which is we multiply the this one by 3, this multiply by 3, we will end up with 3b cubed over a 27a squared. So they have a common denominator, which, which is 27a squared. Minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2. Plus 2 b cubed over 27a squared. Then I think no more. Plus cy minus bc over 3a plus d equals to 0. Now we group all the y terms together. We group all the y terms together. Okay. As you can see, we have a y cubed plus c y, or oh, one more, this one, eh? plus this one, minus b square y over 3a, then the rest just write like this, cubed over 27a square minus b c over 3a plus d equals to 0. The reason I group all the y terms together so that we can factor out y for this part. A y cube remain unchanged, I want to factor out y, so maybe bracket c plus c minus b square over 3a, y I write outside. The other terms, oops, the other terms remain unchanged, 2b cube over 27a square minus bc over 3a plus d equals to 0. Then we divide the whole equation. We can divide the whole equation by a so that our coefficient of y cubed is 1. Divide by a, we'll get y cubed plus c over a minus b square over 3a square y plus 2b cubed over 27a cubed minus bc over 3a square plus d over a equals to 0. Okay, we are actually done with the first part. Okay, okay. we are actually done with our first part. Now we will do our second and third substitution. We will let this part here be, maybe be f because e can mean for something else. And this part here be g. Okay, maybe I write down second substitution. We let f equals to c over a minus b square over 3a square. And third substitution, g equals to 2b cubed minus 27a cubed minus b c over 3a square plus d over a. Is it a? Yeah. Highlight it so that letter is easier for us to refer. And now we will just have a very simple equation y cubed plus fy plus g equals to 0. Alright, very nice. The purpose of this, as you can see, we don't have any y square terms now. 
so that it is easier for us to simplify later. Okay, we'll continue with the fourth substitution. Uh, this one is slightly more complicated. We let y equals to maybe a z plus g over z. And we let g equals to negative f over 3. Combine these two together, we'll have y equals to z plus f over 3 over uh, z. So it's y equals to z minus f over 3z. Okay, this one, this one, and this one. When we substitute it into the equation, we will get okay, z plus g over z cubed plus f z plus g over z plus g equals to 0. And again, I will remind you again the binomial formula. If we have a plus b cubed, it's actually equals to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. We will apply it here. So we will have z cubed plus 3z squared g over z plus 3z g over z squared plus g over z cubed. Then the rest we don't touch. Plus f z plus g over z plus g equals to 0. Then we simplify. As you can see, this z and this z power minus 1. Then z cubed. z cubed plus 3z g plus this one z and z can cancel. This one, okay, wait, 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 huh? This one should be g square over z square, correct? And then this z and this z square can cancel the power by 1. Plus 3g square over z. And this one is just, this one is just g cube over z cube. Plus expand, expand this f into the bracket. Plus fz plus fg over z plus g equals to zero. Okay, we are on our way to get our triquadratic equation. Okay, we multiply the whole equation by z cube. So we have z to the six plus. 3z to the 4, g plus 3g square power minus 1, z square plus z cube and z cube cancel plus g cube plus fz to the 4th plus fg z square plus g z cube equals to 0. Okay, as we defined earlier in this one in here, we define that g equals to negative f over 3. We now sub in this into the equation. We substitute g equals to negative f over 3 here. So we will have z to the 6. Maybe I write here. z to the 6 plus 3 z to the 4th negative f over z. Oops, I think where, where it is. It's not Z, sorry. It's not Z, it's 3. And then plus with a 3, negative F over 3 square, Z square, plus negative F over 3 cube, plus the rest we don't touch, F Z 4, plus F, negative F over 3. Then z square plus oops, z square plus g z cube equals to zero. 
And now we can simplify. Three and three cancel. This one is uh f square over nine. Later we can cancel lah. Z six minus f z to the fourth plus three f square over nine z square minus f cube over twenty seven plus f z four then minus f square z square over three plus g z cube equals to zero. Simplify this one and this one can cancel. This three and this one can simplify. And this term here, when we simplify, is just equals to f square z square over three. F square f square z square over three is the same as this one. So cancel. We'll end up with z to the six plus. Maybe I write this one first. G z cube minus f cube over twenty seven equals to zero. And this can be factor into z cube square plus g z cube minus f cube over 27 equals to 0. I use a different color of highlighter. This is a triquadratic equation. So later we can solve like quadratic equation. Very nice. Because we because if we want to solve using triquadratic equation, we need some cons we need some substitution for this z cube, right? We will do the fifth substitution. Right, five. We let maybe we let u huh? U equals to z cube. Okay, so we will end up with u square plus g u minus f cube over 27 equals to 0. As you can see, this is obviously a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation where the variable is in u. And g and f are just constant. Okay? As this is a quadratic equation, we can use the quadratic formula to solve. We will write the variable u equals to negative g plus minus square root of g square minus 4 times 1 times negative f cubed over 27 over 2 times with a 1. Complicated? Never mind. Simplify. So u equals to negative g plus minus g square minus minus become plus 4f cubed over 27 over 2. u equals to, we split the fraction, negative g over 2 plus minus, I write 1 half outside, g square plus 4f cubed over 27. Then I want to put this 1 over 2 into the radical. So u equals to negative g over 2 plus minus, if we put inside, it's actually equals to 1 over 4. g squared plus 4f cubed over 27. So u equals to negative g over 2 plus minus, this one become g squared over 4, and this 4 and 4 can cancel plus f cubed over 27. And this f, f cubed over 27, you can see they are both perfect cube. Perfect cube, right? It's actually equals to f over 3 cubed. Then we just have to write u equals to negative g over 2 plus minus. And this one is a perfect square. g square over 4 is a perfect square. So g over 2 square plus f over 3 
cute. Very really nice. As you can see, this is a quadratic quadratic equation. As when it is a quadratic equation, the sum of roots and product of roots will work. Will definitely work. We already proved it in the quadratic series. Then we know that sum of roots is equals to negative g coefficient of u, right? Then product of roots is the constant, which is negative f cubed over twenty seven. We we'll have two values of u. We let maybe the six substitution. Eh? We let um, v equals to positive version of u and w equals to negative version of u. Highlight it. In short, if we substitute into this equation the u values that we get, v equals to negative g over two plus square root of g over 2 square plus f over 3 cube and u will be, uh, w equals to negative g over 2 plus minus g over 2 square plus f over 3 cube and these are the two roots of this quadratic equation in terms of u as I said earlier Product of roots will work for this quadratic equation. Product of roots is here. We multiply, oops, we multiply v and u together. We now multiply the two roots together. We will get the product of roots. So v, w equals to this one. Negative f cubed over 27. Negative f cubed over 27, which is actually equals to negative bracket f over 3. Cube. Okay, this is not a substitution, but I just put it in the box because it's very important. Okay, from here, z. What is that? Nah, z is actually z cube is u. So, 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 z cube is v. And z cube can be w. Z equals to cube root of v, and z equals to cube root of w. Okay, one is positive, one is negative. Okay. Then now we will call our friend the complex plan, because now the step will involve some complex number. For complex plan, we have imaginary exist and real exists and by all last constant we have e to the power i pi equals to 1 which is equals to e to the 0 and this is also same for e to the 2 pi i equals to e to the 4 pi i because we only want to consider 2 pi we only take 2 pi all right because we, we know it's a cubic equation so it will have three solutions. Three solutions means we want to get three values of this z. First value, of, first value of z we already know. Z equals to cube root of v. Mm, okay. We want to get three values of z. We want to get three values of z, and we know that z equals to cube root of v. We just have to multiply this v with a one. How to get this one is to get this two. Lah. So z equals to cube root of v times e to the power 2 pi i, which is z equals to cube root of v times e to the power 2 pi i over 3, which is z to the cube root of v times e 2 pi over 3 i. 2 pi over 3, oops, we know that 2 pi over 3 is actually equal to 120 degrees. 120 degrees means it will be somewhere here in quadrant 2, correct? And we know that for this trigonometric ratio, it is all science teacher crazy. And in, and in quadrant 2, the sine of this 2 pi over 3 will be 
positive and cosine of these two pi over 3 will be negative. We will now use the Aula's identity. Okay, maybe I write down here. Aula's identity. He states that e to the power i theta equals to cos theta plus i times sine theta. Then we will solve for this e to the 2 pi over 3 i. E to the 2 pi over 3 i equals to cosine of 2 pi over 3 plus i times sine of 2 pi over 3. And as it is in quadrant 2, cosine of it will be negative and sine of it will be positive. Equals to negative 1 half plus i times sine of 2 pi over 3 is square root 3 divided by 2. Thus, the second value of z is q of v times with this negative 1 half plus i times q root of 3. Okay. We will do the same thing to the 4 pi over 3. Okay, e to 4 pi over 3 i equals to cos 4 pi over 3 plus i sine 4 pi over 3. As you can see, 4 pi over 3 is a double of 2 pi over 3. Double of 180 is 240. 4 pi. Oops. 4 pi. Over 3 is 240 degrees. 240 degrees means it is in quadrant 3. Quadrant 3, sine will be negative and cosine also will be negative. Then we will have negative half plus i times negative version of square, uh, square root over 3, which is equal to negative 1 half minus i times. Over two. This one is two. Sorry. Square of square root of three over two. Okay. Thus, third value of z equals to q root of v times negative one half minus i q root over q root of three over two. Okay. We are combine these three values of z together, and we are almost done. Three values of z, huh? Z. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Z equals to Q root of V. Z equals to Q root of V times negative one half plus I Q root over two. This one is two. I always try it wrong. Uh -huh. This one should be two. Sorry. And okay. Z equals to cube root of v times negative one half minus i cube root of two. And here, happily, we have three values of z. Okay. We slightly move back a little bit. Go back to our first substitution. We let x equals to y minus b over 3a. And then second substitution, we let f equal to blah blah blah, g equals to blah blah blah. Yeah, what I want is this one. We let y equals to z minus f over 3z, right? And now we already got z, so we can solve for y. Okay, y equals to z minus f over 3z. I'll write down here. Refer to the fourth substitution y equals to z minus f over 3z and also just now we got the product of root yeah this one vw equals to negative f cube over 27 which is negative f over 3 cube 
I write down here and v w equals to negative f over 3 cube. Okay, for this one, we are tag cube root on both sides v w equals to negative f over 3. And we split the radical q root of v times q root of w equals to negative f over 3. And we have q root of w equals to negative f over 3 times q root of v. Okay, this is what we need later because we already expressed q root of w in terms of q root of v. Okay, we got the three values of z which is these three, eh? we have three values of z, we will do it one by one. When z equals to q root of v, y equals to z, z is q root of v minus f over 3 times q root of v. And as you can see, this part here is very similar to what we defined just now. So y equals to q root of v, substitute this q root of w, plus q root of w. And this is the first root that we want. Got it. Okay, then when z equals to the second value, which is q root of v, bracket negative 1 half, plus i times q root of 3 over 2. Then y equals to cube root of v, negative 1 half, plus i cube root of 3 over 2, then minus f over uh, 3 times this whole thing. And same thing here, this part. Oops, sorry, sorry, I missed out a term. times uh, q root of v, negative 1 half, plus i q root of no, 2. As you can see, this part here, very similar, huh? Substitute in, huh? So y equals to q root of v times with uh, this bracket, plus i q root of 2, plus this q root of w over uh, negative half plus i Q over 2. And this one, because it's a complex number, involves complex number, so you'll use complex conjugate to get this division done. Maybe I write it somewhere here. I write it somewhere here. Huh? So Q root of W over a negative half plus i times Q over 2. We multiply by the conjugate of this denominator, which is negative half minus i over 3 square over negative half minus i over q over 2. On top, we will just have q root of w, negative 1 half, minus i times q over 3 over 2, over, we apply the FOIL operation. Maybe I will write, we write down first, uh -huh. plus i q over 2, negative half minus i times q over 3 over 2. Okay, a FOIL a, a FOI operation. Eh, I don't know how to spell FOIL already. Apply FOIL operation. So on top, we write down first. Negative 1 half minus i q over 2. FOI operation. First term times first term is equals to positive 1 over 4. Last term times Last term is i i that, that we get minus one over four, and inner terms we'll have minus i square root three over two times two is four, then plus i over four. As you can see. This and this cancel, this and that cancel. We'll end up with 
Q root of W times negative 1 half minus I Q root over 2. And we just substitute in into here. Pi equals to Q root of V, negative 1 half plus I Q root over 2. Plus with this Q root of W, negative 1 half minus I Q over 2. I square. Okay. And this is the second root. Okay, for the third root, very easy, lah. same thing, huh? When z equals to the third value of, when z equals to the third value, square root of v, negative one half, should be minus, right? Yep, minus, i, square root 3 over 2, then y equals to, square, uh, square root of v, Negative one half minus i cube i cube over i cube over two minus f over three times q of v negative one half minus i cube root over zero two. Okay, same thing. This one very similar, huh? Still our friend. Here, so stay in here. So y equals to q of v negative one half minus i q over two plus q of w over a negative one half minus i q over two. As you can see from the second value of z, it will just be q of w times with the conjugate of denominator. I don't want to do it again, huh? So y equals to q of v negative one half minus i over two plus q of w times with the conjugate of this one is one over two plus i q over two and this is the third root. Very happy. The last thing we have to do is just substitute this y back into the x. Still remember the first substitution that we made. Oh, very long already, huh? Yep, here, here, here. X equals to Y minus B over 3A. Okay? Refer to the first substitution. Okay. Refer to the first substitution. x equals to y minus b over 3a. Then we substitute these three values of y into this equation. First x equals to y is just q of v plus q of w minus b over 3a. I like it with this color. Huh? The x2 equals to cube root of v. Yeah, I, okay. v negative 1 half plus i cube of 3 over 2. Then plus cube of w negative 1 half minus i times root square root 2 minus b over 3a and this is the second z x i mean then for the last x x cube equals to q of v negative 1 over 2 minus this one plus this one minus b over 3a and this is the third value of x and we are done because we know that from our substitution v and w are in terms of v and w are in terms of u correct one is positive one is negative and u is in terms of z z is in terms of f and g 
and this F and G are in terms of ABCD. Which means this is the simplified version of cubic formula. And we are done. Yay.